What is up my dudes, Tyster here, and this is actually going to be, I think, the first video I post on uh, YouTube, so uh, definitely something to uh, be happy about, so let's celebrate everybody, Tyster's back to making YouTube videos again, but we ain't doing it with music this time, at least for this video, because uh, I didn't prepare for that, at least letting you know now. Now, <clears throat> as we know, DT Golden Week is going to be on like two two days basically and we didn't expect this information to come out just yet but apparently this information has come out literally just moments ago so i just happened to be awake for this and i think i'm going to cover it because why not so gt golden week is happening we already knew that we already knew that we were getting a new goku and a Vegeta. we already knew that but let's go over some of these units stuff and this is kind of a little bit go ahead and zoom out just a little there we go might be a little bit easier for you guys to read if it's blurry let me know in the comments below I'd like to uh change that for next time i'm gonna get a drink of water because i'm a little bit parched Whew. all right let's dive into it first off metal rildos getting a awakening so leader skill str type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent Super attack, deadly metal needle, raises attack greatly, raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers the enemy's attack. Now, that leader skill is ridiculous. Raises attack is about, I think, a 20%, and then greatly raises defense for one turn is a 70? No, no, no. 50%. 50%. So, 50% raise. That's pretty good for one turn. Uh, granted, it's not going to be the most. I think the raises attack is infinite, so that's cool. And then, obviously, lower the enemy's attack is a little... Eh, in my opinion, but hey, <clears throat> we'll take it from here. Passive skill. Defense plus 120% at the start of the turn. Attack plus 120% when launching a super attack. Key plus 2. Defense plus 40% to GT bosses. Now that is big, and I'll get into that after I finish this. Category allies. Uh, an additional attack and defense plus 60%. Attacks become super effective. High chance to stun the attacked enemy for two turns when there is a GT hero category enemy. Recovers 5% HP if you received an attack at the end of the turn. Jesus Christ, that passive skill. Not only that, but this confirms we're getting another category for GT bosses. And I think for part two, we're going to see something along the lines of maybe Super Baby LR. Or no, no, no. No. Omega Shenron LR. Quote me on that. I'm going to say either send Shenron transforming into Omega or an Omega Shenron. I'm, I'm calling it right there, especially since it's a Goku and Vegeta. So I'm just going to call it there. Blink skills, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, GT, Nightmare, Fear, and Faith. And then categories, Artificial Life Forms, Stealth, and Terrifying Conquerors, and Bosses. Or Boss for that. So I think that's really cool that we're getting GT heroes and bosses. Um, But at the same time, and I'm going to be that guy. I know that a lot of people are going to hate me. I don't think that GT bosses needed its own category. I honestly think that GT should have just been one big category, give us more stuff to work with. But I digress. I could be the minority in this. <clears throat> Super AGL Trunks GT and Goten GT. Now, I already made a post on Twitter thinking that this is fucking awesome. Uh, excuse my language, I'm not monetized. <laughs> but getting a G more GT Goten I think is funny. And then we're getting two of those cards. But let's get into this first one. GT Hero, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Twin Galactic Kick, which the super attack looks kind of like Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Raises attack and defense, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Uh, and that's that's decent. It looks like it might be an infinite stack, and if it is, that's uh, that's definite kudos. I think that's wonderful. <sighs> Passive, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, and additional attack plus 40% when launching a super attack. Launches an additional attack with a medium chance to become a super attack. P plus 3 attack and defense 40% to all Goku's family category allies. And key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40% to all Vegeta's family category allies. Now, they could have shortened that and just said Goku's family and Vegeta's family. I think this is a wonderful support card. This is freaking awesome. Not only that, but it could also uh, kind of be on its own. So, definitely worth a, uh, worth a grabbing if you can grab it during the celebration uh link skills sane warrior race sane lineage salt spore cold judgment speedy retribution gt and fierce battle categories gt hero hybrid sands siblings bond and joint forces now let's get into this super tech gohan gt and goten gt as well i think this is a fun one 
GT Heroes, Category Key plus 3 HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%. So they're going to be the sub-leads for this new GT category. Pretty cool. Three Lemmings is Attack and Defense for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Now, this is where I think the other one is better, because again, if you if you look at it, you get the uh, Raises Attack and Defense, and it doesn't say for one turn, so I'm guessing it's an infinite stack. So, SA, I definitely have to say, is a lot better on the uh, Trunks and Goten. Attack and defense plus 150% when launching a super attack. Launches an additional attack with a medium chance to become a super attack. He plus 3 attack and defense plus 40% to all GT hero category allies. So, this is big because it's not restricted to Goku's family, which I thought was a very good move. Because this one is restricted to Go uh, Goku's family and Vegeta's family, but this is for a combination team. This is meant for just GT heroes in general, and I think that's why I like this better. But... Again, it's all dependent because this is for this is more limiting for the GT hero, uh, while this one is more open for a whole bunch of other teams. Uh, again, I'm not saying that the like the other one's better than this one. I am saying though, for GT hero, you need to make that category good, and this definitely helps out that category. Link skills: same warrior race, all in the family, same lineage, solid support, cold judgment, GT and fierce battle categories, GT hero, hybrid Saiyans, Goku's family, siblings bond, and joint forces. Now, let's get into the boys, baby. You know we got the uh, Super Int SSJ Vegeta GT. Now, here's where I was surprised with these two units is that they do not transform. Very shocking because I thought they would capitalize on that, but. Let's go ahead and take a look at the units itself. GT Hero Category Key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 170%, so it's solid 170%. Or Vegeta's Category Key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 150%. Uh, Gallic Gun greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers defense. Now, I think that's wonderful because, again, we're getting the greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn. I think that might be an infinite stack um, of 50. Or, no, no, no. Yeah, 50. 50, an infinite stack, that's ridiculous. He's just going to hit like a truck. Raises defense for one turn is meh, obviously, and greatly lowers defense. I, you know, hopefully that works well. Now, passive skill. Attack plus 180%, defense plus 120%. Randomly changes one key sphere type to rainbow, and I think that is crucial. That it, this, this and the Goku are going to be units to help out with that uh, punching bag event, and I think that's wonderful. Um, an additional attack and defense plus 10% per key spear obtained when launching a super attack. So definitely something where this could be a monster for those of them. Uh, an additional attack plus 50% per other GT hero category allies attacking in the same turn. Now that means that it could go up to, um, I think it's 150% if it counts itself, 100% if it doesn't. And that's huge. This, this guy is going to hit hard. Very, very, very hard. Uh, Link skills. Golden Warrior, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, GT, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Excuse me. Categories. GT Hero, Fierce Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyan, Worthy, Rival, uh, Prodigal Warrior, and Great 8 Power. Now, Great 8 Power is getting a well between. Uh, active skill. True Final Flash Attack. Which is weird. Hold on. So. It, we'll watch it we'll watch it a little bit um or actually i don't think we can because we might get we might get the but in the actual essay uh he uses final shine so true final flash attacks a little uh launch a super attack more than four times a battle now i think that kind of sucks because i get they're wanting to put a restriction on it because it's supposed to be very very good especially with the effect massively increases attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage however Four times in a battle when you can only use this once. Granted, for longer events, it's not that big a deal, but uh, you're only gonna you're, you may only see it in those longer events. I don't know. I have to do it myself. Um, I guess. I mean, we'll still see it near the end of the battle for cards, but I still don't like the four times in battle. Super now let's get into the physical SSJ Goku. GT Hero, Category Key plus 3 HP, Attack and Defense 170%, or Goku's Family, Category Key plus 3 HP, Attack and Defense 150%. So, again, just marrying the Vegeta. SA, Kamehameha, greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers defense. Same thing as the, the Vegeta. Um, 
Attack plus 180%, defense plus 120%, randomly changes key spear type to rainbow, and additional attack plus 20% for key spear obtained when launching a super attack. So there's the difference right there is that this Vegeta is only gaining attack and defense plus 10, while this Goku is gaining attack plus 20. And here's why in the next An additional defense plus 50% for other GT hero category allies attacking in this. He's getting more defense. And I think that's pretty cool. Overall, it still kind of sucks because with this uh, Vegeta, he's going to get more, I think, overall. While this Goku is kind of split. And I don't know. They're still both really, really good. I think they're fantastic units. But at the same time, I can see where the issues lie with the uh, differences in like attack and defense. I think this Vegeta is going to hit like a trunk. Trunk. Truck. And this Goku is going to defend like a monster. Link skills. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, GT, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle. Categories. GT Hero, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Turtle School. Turtle School. And Grade 8 Power. Turtle School is kind of weird. Turtle School. Do we have? Oh, I'll look into it. Maybe I, maybe I just haven't paid attention. Uh, then we got active skill, full power Kamehameha. Launch an additional super attack after four times in battle. Massively increases attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage. Now, again, I think all these units are really, really good. I'm surprised because I thought that they were going to in the uh, tech. Or not awaken, but maybe give an easy A to the tech. Or no? I don't know. Like the tech Super Saiyan GT Vegeta. I can't remember if it's got. Pretty sure it does. Uh, but I would figure that some, we were doing something with that. But again, this is only the little bit of information that we got. And we also know that we're getting an easy A for the Trunks Great Saiyan and for Han and Grandpa Gohan. And once the information comes out, I'll try to do a video on it so that way I can get it out there. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, what do you guys think about these units? I think they're fantastic units, personally. I think it's going to be a fun GT category, and I can't wait to most of these units on Global and JP. Also, let me know. Are you happy that I'm back? I hope so, because I'm definitely going to be posting more. And it's not just going to be Dokkan content, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. As always, guys, you can check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash TaxTradiceSetsu, on Twitter and Instagram at TaxTradiceSetsu. Once again, thank you so much. I'm glad to be back, guys. I hope you all are having fun, being safe. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, my dude!